how to structure your daily singing practice. If you want to get better and if you want to stay motivated and feel like you have goals that you're going to reach and you want to reach those goals, you got to have a way that you live them. You got to have a way that you're living the steps that it takes to get to those goals. You got to kind of change your life to be focused on those goals. Now, I'm talking about singing. So, here's how I do it. I got my phone, which is like a laptop. Back in the days, this was like a laptop or it was like a PC, but now it's a phone. It's amazing. I have my music folder, okay? And in my music folder, I've got a lot of music. So, the music is what I listen to to inspire me to learn new music. So, I've got a lot of artists. These are all the artists, okay? And sometimes I got a playlist, so I got, say, inspirational, powerful. There's a playlist there, for example. And that's got songs that are really sort of excite me, you know, for singing. They're songs that are very technically difficult. They're songs that are moving. They, they, they feel inspirational. That's what I mean by inspiring. Um, yeah, they're really powerful songs for me. Kind of like power ballads, but they're not all ballads. Sometimes they're they're up tempo, but they're powerful. So having crazy music that you love, easily accessible, and also sometimes having some track. There's thirty tracks in that playlist. Having some tracks that really inspire you, uh, yeah, that kind of stuff. And the rest of the tracks, I got a few hundred tracks from Boyz II Men, Tank, and other artists that I love, Brian McKnight. Okay, so. That's one side, having the music. Now the next side is having a way to break down that music, the technical side. Okay, so I've got amazing slow downer. And what I do is I've created lists inside amazing slow downer and they're structured. So say my current, one of my current focuses or a few of my focuses are falsetto and runs. Okay, they're the things I practice the most regularly at the moment. So what I've got is I've got a falsetto folder and it's got all songs that I want to learn or that have falsetto that I can't do that I wish I could do and within each song, let's say I pick the first one, Amazing by Tank each song has saved within it the little parts of the song that I'm gonna work on so say for example, here's one part of the song that part So that's the part of the song there and what I got here is the speed slider so I can work on it that's down to 25% and then I move it up and I practice but my point is the structure is there of uh, all the parts that I want to learn I don't need to take time to figure it out I've already created the, the parts I want to learn so what I want to so what I do next is let's say I pick another part So what I do is, um, I'll, I'll go to a shorter part for this video. It's really fast. So I'm, I'm not there yet, but this is what I do. I'll get it, I'll put it down to 25. Listen. I do a do a practice, and then the speed automatically goes up. again so one listen one go and then I go through that process until it gets to a hundred percent speed so that was 50 it reached 50 percent there and then I move on to the next part of the song to the next little bit that I showed you I had all those bits marked out of the song so I mark out all the bits in loops and they loop in loops and they loop around 
And as I'm walking to work, my work is about a 20 minute walk away, I practice them. Yeah, while I'm walking, I practice. But I don't practice full loud. I'm walking, well, it depends, it's not that busy where I walk. But um, yeah, I'll get my practice done while I'm walking. And sometimes I'll, I'll practice when I, maybe in the evening, after dinner or something, I'll feel like doing it and I'll put on other stuff, like more longer things that I want to learn. And that's how I structure my practice. So it's about maybe 15, 20 minutes when I'm on the way to work and maybe 10 to 20 minutes at home at night where I'll practice a higher belting, like a, or stuff that's more in my mid-range or higher range instead of my falsetto because my falsetto tends to be better in the morning. But everyone's different. So uh, that's how I structure my practice. So I can't, I can't not practice because I've got the structure laid out. It's, I can't get bored because there's too much stuff I've got laid out already. I've put in the time, I've put in a few hours to make this structure. It takes time to do it, to mark out the loops. So I've got all those songs to practice falsetto on, so I can't get bored. I've always got variety to practice my technique on. Um, then I've got low voice. When I feel like practicing my low voice, I've got songs, say, where I want to practice low stuff. Here's an example. Uh, from last night. Uh, like that kind of stuff. Um, it's a run and a low note, but yeah. I got other sections, like all the elements that I've taught you about in my other videos, um, merged elements. So then I've got vibrato. So this song, this is a file I've put together with all vibrato. So that's that vibrato, simpler one. Yeah, all types of vibrato, and then I've got another one for high notes, so high D to D. It's a high note, it's an A flat, and then it keeps going higher. Yeah, so I've got structure for whatever I want to practice. Uh, let's say short runs. I've merged a bunch of short runs together that are very common and that I like, that I want to learn, so I just put them together. Yeah, just like that, or... It's a short run. I'm telling you, I used to suck at these. I've just been practicing, and you get better. All that kind of stuff. See, that's you got to structure your practice. Now, when you buy a program, they usually structure it for you. They give you exercises. They, this is a breathing exercise. This is a high note exercise. This is an arpeggio. This is a scale. This is so you stay in key. This is a pitch exercise. This is for your runs, blah, blah, blah. All that kind of stuff. And that's great. They structure it for you. But what I've done is I created a system where you can structure it yourself. Create your own structure. Create your own program based on the songs you want using Amazing Slow Data. Okay? So... I hope that helps you get an idea. That's how I structure my program. That's how I practice. Every day, I end up practicing because I've got the structure there. If I didn't have, before I didn't have this structure, I used to have amazing slowdown on my computer before smartphones came out. And I didn't practice that often. Not, not that I couldn't have, I could have, but I didn't know I could do it like that. And then later over time, I figured it out and I thought, how can I practice regularly? Because I was practicing guitar regularly and I thought, I was getting really good at guitar and I thought I'm not improving at singing as, as quickly as I'm improving at guitar what's the difference here what's going on whereas guitar I was practicing every day I had all the song songs laid out I had all the chord the books with all the chords in them so it was easy for me to just open a book I want to practice that song I like that song flip learn the chords I'm practicing there you go there goes half an hour hour of time I'm practicing and having fun and getting better whereas I didn't have that with singing so when I created it with Amazing Slowdown, I created all the loops and all that kind of stuff. Singing practice became a regular. All right, hope that helps. If you've got any questions, let me know. Talk, uh, tell me down below how you practice and tell me if this has helped you. Like it if you like it. Okay, you can support me on Patreon too if you like my videos. I'm doing a lot of motivational videos for you guys, giving you a lot of free info. But I would love it if you came and did lessons with me so you can actually learn and improve. I love teaching and I love making people better. So go to rmbsinglessons.com to see 
what my lesson structure is about. And if you aren't doing lessons, why not? Think about it. They're not that expensive. I've made them very affordable. I like teaching. I like making people better. People really enjoy my lessons when they do them. So have a think about it, <clears throat> and maybe I'll see you in lessons. All right, I'll see you next time. I'm Rashad.